That's right, bitches. I'm back. Hi, friends. My name is Frisha Vakadu, I guess. It's been a while since I've been in this room. I hope you guys like the nostalgia moment. She's giving you a throwback Thursday, even though it's probably Saturday when I upload this. <laughs> Nope. I haven't done a Frederick's art camp in a while, and I know everyone has been wanting it again, and I miss doing it, and it only feels right to do it in this room. Also, yes, I just finished Neon Genesis Evangelion. Oh my god, that show, that fucks you up. Real bad. One could say I've dabbled in making bees, specifically Minecraft bees. I'm familiar with bees, Cardi B, Michael with a B, The Beatles, B plus averages. And I saw this TikTok that was like a few months ago. Everyone sent it to me. You, your mom, your divorced parents, your cousin, your grandma, the kid you babysit but you hate but you just want money from him, her, they. So I've seen it. All right, I've seen the TikTok. You can stop now. I make one video about a Minecraft bee and then suddenly I'm the Lorax of the bees. And I'm finally caving. I'm gonna make it. I didn't want to do it because I knew it would be time consuming. I would never use them. I would put them up once and never bother taking them down. So you know I'm about to put them around here. And I just don't wanna do it. I'm very lazy. It's Christmas break, but I'm bored at home. I fish all of NGE in a day, in one sitting, plus the movie. Something is wrong. So let's do some work, all right? All right, Michael, I'm gonna set you aside. You'll be the mascot today. No, these are not anal beads. They're called perler beads. They're basically little plastic things that you can melt with an iron and they make patterns. Usually people do pixel art. So two months ago, I bought this. Then a month ago, I bought that. I also bought an iron at the same time. I spent money on an iron for no reason. And a week ago, I was gonna film this, but then Frederick realized there's no brown in my perler bead collection. As you can see on our diagram, there is a lot of brown around here. There's a lot of dark brown. So I had to order some on Amazon. If this is not enough, I don't know what to do, guys. This is regular brown. I wanted dark brown, but it was out of stock. So we're just gonna make do. I'm not buying anymore, cause I don't care. Or should I? I'm not gonna do it. And that's not all I bought. I also had to buy separate colors. Black, yellow, and white. Why? This is exactly why I didn't want to do this. Let's make some bees. This has a collection of all different types of blue. I need the light blue and the transparent for the wings. This has some light orange that I'm gonna use for texture. And this has other shades of yellow and orange that I need to use. And everything else is useless to me. So I'm gonna have 10,000 extra beads for no reason. Maybe I'll melt it into one big ball. But right now, only four colors are organized and I need to separate all of this. So yeah, I guess. Oh, whoever recommended this video, you're on my hit list. This is from TJ Maxx, if you're wondering. I'm gonna organize them. We're gonna plop them like this. Okay? I'm gonna do that for you. For you, I'm gonna be nice. I'm not trying to kill a bug, I'm trying to- Cut, Frederick, cut! Wait, I'm naked. Okay, so today's Christmas. We had a windstorm yesterday, so I literally couldn't record because all you would hear was it's still going on a little bit, but either way, I would like this to be over because I think I spent a total of three hours too many organizing these beads. I have orange, a lighter orange, light blue, and translucent, and the rest of them are all in here. So if you would like me to add more to the string light collection, let me know what other types of things you want me to make. I'll make a creeper head. I can probably make a squid. The only color I don't have is red. So all I have to do now is just prepare them and then proceed to iron. Luckily I have parchment paper. I bought it for baking and I just remembered you need it for this. I need to look up this template really quick and then change my camera angle because you don't need to see my face. Okay, so I have a template right here. I'm watching a video because this has obviously been done before. So I will credit this in the description because I know Know that this tutorial is much better than what I'm about to show you. So let me zoom you guys out, show you what I have. I have some qualms about these perler beads. I literally wrote down notes while I was organizing. First of all, the tweezers suck. If you have carpal tunnel or like any form of arthritis, this is not good for you. If you lose this clear one on a carpet, good luck finding it. I have lost five. And if you're also colorblind, well, this is just hell for you. I don't know why they don't package it so that each color is individual inside the packet. That's the end of my rant. I'm gonna start off with the head oh my god this can take forever wow you know this is so efficient oh, oh god what age is this for again age is six plus i don't know how a six-year-old has the patience to do this let me see how long this takes me to complete one thing i'm also realizing now i did not need this orange because it's not used in the template so i just wasted more time oh my god no stop it please open please it's gonna burst who seals it like this? Oh, what the fuck? You know what? Okay. You know, that worked. These came in handy for once. They can rip open plastic. Okay, I'm just gonna see if... 
that doesn't work okay i was hoping it would fall into place and that didn't happen now everything is jumbled here let me get very close for this do you see how <laughs> long and stupid this toy is i must have spent days doing this stuff as a kid i would always use them to make pixel art you can only make pixel art i would make pick pokemon sprites out of them i just had all the time in the world i was in elementary school we didn't have tests back then i feel like now no child has the time to finish this because you gotta study for a quiz or go to soccer practice this also calls for a pastel yellow we don't have the budget for that so i'm not doing that and i would like to get rid of all of this okay how long did that take basically five minutes i started the timer late so if there's one two three four one two three four five one, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, I can't count. Six pieces. That's gonna take 30 minutes to make one B body. And that's not including the wings or the antenna or the legs. This is day two of Frederick suffering. If you would like to add your own day one of blank in the comments, I would appreciate that. They make me laugh a lot. And you know what? If it makes me laugh, I'll heart it, okay? How about that? You know, I still can't open this. This ripped all of my nail polish off. Oh, do that first because there's no use for you anymore. I organized all the orange for nothing. Please. Oh, Jesus. You know, if you're lucky, you can pick up two at the same time, which helps so little at the end of the day. Okay, so this is the brown. Wait, what am I doing? Use the method. Just ripped it right open. I'm gonna probably make different bees. So one's probably gonna have black stripes because that's how it should be. Cause this is not dark enough, I feel like. But it's okay. I want all of my bees to look different cause I want them all to be unique. So I'm gonna change them up. Please, please. Oh my God. I'm sorry if you don't have good hand-eye coordination. This, I, I, I lost it, guys. I don't know where that went. We're not getting it back. <sighs> Inner peace. Now I have to duplicate this on this side. No! God damn it. Is this why you wanted me to do this? Did you know this would happen? That I would just be suffering? These tweezers suck so much. I feel like I'm faster by using my hands. Nope, my hands are fat. Oh no. <laughs> we lost another one. I don't know how many I'm willing to make before I give up. I'm gonna see if I can go to three, a solid three. Okay, I think these are equal, yeah. So now that the sides are done, we have to do the top and the bottom. Don't touch it. All right, and now the bottom. There's some holes in here though. I don't understand what that means. I think they're for the legs. My back needs a break. Hold on. Oh. Ow. Oh my god, just get in the hole. Oops, did not mean to say it that way. Or did I? Okay, I think that's a, let me double check, triple check, quadruple check. One more thing to do, and that's the butt. I wonder if I just do this, maybe I'll get a head start. How did the perler bead go in between the holes? Wait, they're all in between the holes. Are you kidding me? They're all off by one. God damn it. Get in the hole. Wow. Oof. That was good. I can't even get mad at this because if I do this, I know it'll mess everything up. Yep. Okay, this is your template. Take a good look at it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some other ones. I'm gonna do a total of four before I pass out and give up and contemplate my life because it's Christmas and what am I doing? And I'm gonna cue an intense montage. So yeah, let's do that. Did I put an anime reference in there? Probably did. I'm done. As you can see, I have four completed Bs. Here are our types. We have original, realistically accurate, angry, and blushing. I'm not doing more, in case you're wondering, because uh, I don't want to. My back said we're done. Forever, actually. A way I found to make this less painful, not tolerable, just a little bit less pain inducing, is to put the color in your hand. So when I was doing all the orange, I would just take a whole handful and then it's easier to grab them by two and I would do it in pairs. So basically I cut my time in half, which thinking about it, if I was a kid, I wouldn't have done that. So this would have taken all night instead, which is just even more painful when I think about it. Either way, I think I'm supposed to iron now. I'm going to double check because my God, if I mess this up, I'm going to 
throw fit. <laughs> now, keep in mind, I've only done the body so far, so I haven't even thought about antenna, which I might do right now because I feel like I can save space and just get it all done. Hold on, I'm going to make a TikTok really quick. So for the antenna and wings, the template looks like this. And I think I can fit all of that on here. I forgot to mention, I messed up on, I think, this one because... Yeah, so this side is down a little bit and I had to move this here instead because I made the bee head one too high. And just because I made that one mistake, suddenly nothing fits. So double check your space because this is like just enough to have everything fit this way and that way. So I'm gonna just do this in the corner. I feel like that's safest. I think this is for the butt. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed by now, I would recommend doing so because my back said so. <laughs> That's my Christmas gift. My Christmas gift to my back was giving it a break and look what I'm doing to it on Christmas day, breaking it again. And then I have antenna, which I don't know how they're supposed to connect. That makes, this makes no sense to me. Like, is that really gonna connect diagonally? I don't believe so. Cause I remember how hard it was to even iron the stuff to the point where it all melted together. They're very delicate. So I'm not moving it when I'm done. No, when I finish this project, I'm keeping it in this room because I know if I touch it, it will break. Mm, I don't know if I can fit everything anymore. I'm gonna try, we're gonna try. At worst case, I have to do the, the wings by themselves, but this is pretty good so far. Six pairs of legs, they're also looking like L's. Say less, I can do this. I know how to maximize space. I live in a New York apartment. I can fit one right here. Beautiful, wow. Look at me, this is so good. Three legs already. All right, let's think again. If I wanna save space for the wings, I can do one right here. So that's four pairs of legs already. And I don't know how many spaces the wings cost, but either way, I'm just gonna put these in the corners and we should be good. There, it fits. Wing, wing, done. But just keep in mind, you need this exact template if it's gonna work for you. The original package I bought came with like some star shapes. I'm like, what? Why? It was a heart, it was a star, and then one was like a hexagon. And that was not cute. It was not efficient either. So I just bought a separate pack of templates. If you want to use this exact stuff, I'll link it, but just, just no, this isn't cheap. For some reason, plastic beads cost $30. Why? For what? Every time I'm moving my hands around, some pieces fly away and I'm so scared I missed one. If one's off, I'm gonna be so mad. No. Okay, I don't have clear, but I have translucent with glitter in it. Can you guys see a sparkle? So these will be all gay bees. Gay bees? Gay bees. Baby gays. Baby gay bees. Gay bee, gay bees. <laughs> so in conclusion, I spent like two extra hours organizing stuff I did not need to organize because I have so much extra orange and clear left. And I picked out so much blue for what? What was I gonna do? Maybe count beforehand. That would have been a good idea. Except I still don't know how many colors you need for each. So uh, that's gonna be a you problem because I'm not doing that. <laughs> Just like how I don't believe that there are a thousand beads in each packet. No way they count that. Oh my God, I'm done. Wait, let's double check. Yes, I'm done. Okay, I guess we iron now. So I have an iron. Thanks mom. Even though I bought one that's still in my apartment, I know how to iron at least. And I have parchment paper too. So I'm just gonna take this much. Not sure if it's gonna burn the parchment paper. I don't have wax paper. I know that's what you usually use. Don't quote me on that. I've seen people use painter's tape too. It works fine. So go with your gut. And I wanna iron both sides of it. I know that much. How, how do I test though? How do I know when you're ready? What if I just... I'm gonna trust that you're not releasing steam. I'm just gonna place it there for a second. I need some space. I'm gonna zoom you out for this. So you can sort of tell when it's melting, when you see that it's starting to stick to the parchment. Is it melting? Yeah, I can tell it's definitely melting. I just wanna make sure I get every side, give it an even amount. And you also notice that the more it melts, the smaller, oh, that sounds so wrong. The smaller the hole gets of each perler bead. And I always try to get it so that it's pretty, pretty melted. You don't wanna melt it all the way, I know. And if you wanna get a specific part, just use the tip. Oh, that sounds wrong too. Use the tip of the iron. Okay, while that rests, I'm going to put something on top of it to flatten it. And on to my next victim. So this one, no, I just wiped it out. Oh my God, I destroyed it. Holy crap, okay, or, okay, 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 it's fine. Hold on, don't do that, first of all. Oh my God, okay. 
I'm gonna have to replace my other hand because turns out I cannot use my left hand. You would think that playing piano for 14 years makes you a little bit ambidextrous. Nope. Iron, shut up. I'm getting to, I'm getting to you. Oh my God, you're so dramatic. No, uh, this was not part of the plan. I've rehabilitated it and we're going to try take two. Do the opposite way this time. Oh, and be careful too. This is very hot. I should probably warn that. I think it said don't do it unless an adult is present. <gasps> Wait, there's a white here. Why is there a white here? Am I missing something? Am I missing something? There's an extra white piece here. I don't know where it come from. Did I miss a piece? Let's do the damn thing. I think this one's good. Let's put a box on top of this now. And let me show you what it looks like, okay? This is what we got so far. It's all glued. So now we have to flip it over. Everything is surprisingly sticking, even the ones that are on diagonals. So we have to flip this over. Oh Lord, that, not like not like that. Oh, a lot of multitasking going on here. I don't appreciate it. Oh no, I wiped out another piece. Oh no, I wiped out another one. So for this, it's a little bit harder because you can't have them stick together. You want them to be all separated. Only problem here is to be cautious of where you're placing your things to make sure that it, they don't accidentally glue together. So I wanna make sure they're very spread apart. They have no chance of sticking together. And then I'm going to take my other parchment piece and put it over that, like so. And then I'm going to just do this. And I'm gonna try not to move anything. Let it slide. Glide. Let it glide over your stuff. I hope I'm doing this right. I stopped looking at the tutorial because I got bored. So at this point, it's all winging it. Get it? Because there's wing. Okay, I'll stop. I'm still kind of worried about these diagonal ones. I don't know how they're going to stick together. I'm going to really put some focus onto them. Moment of truth. Looks like everything is good. It's very hot, so I'm going to let it cool down. We have a minor issue. These did not end up gluing together. So I'm going to try and do that now. Oh my God, this is so hard to do. I don't know how to get these two to stick. Maybe I need to put them back on. Okay, they stuck together now. Good, good, good. Ow, 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 damn, these hurt. I'm gonna turn off my iron and just see if I can do the first two Bs and let them cool. So this should be put together like a puzzle, basically. Oh, I'm so scared these are going to break, but that's why we iron both sides. I think I ironed too much. This is like impossible to snap. Oh, curler bees, how durable are you? Okay, it's less snapping and more forcefully pushing them together and hoping they won't break, but it's working. Okay, well, everything else seems pretty straightforward. I don't wanna put this together yet until I have everything ready. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish ironing. <clears throat> this is day three of Frederick's suffering. As you can see, this is a mess. And this is the last bee I have to do. It's the blushing bee. Problem is, I would have finished this last night if this didn't mess up on me. See, what happened was I accidentally ironed wrong and it lifted the parchment by accident, which then led to a chain of events where this flipped. So everything fell out. Worst part was I didn't capture it on camera. So I just wasted my reaction because I couldn't even get content out of it. Anyways, I gave up last night because I was too tired and angry. But today is a new day. So we're going to finish this now. See what happened was when I did this, it slid off and then the parchment paper went up. So just be careful. Mm, I smell burning. I don't like that. I don't like that. This needs to stop it. <laughs> oh, I really don't appreciate this scent. Mm, I don't know why it's burning today. It did not do that yesterday. So if you could stop, that'd be great. Now here's a new trick I learned. You're gonna do this. You're gonna put one thing on top of the other, hold it together, flip, do this, and then lift up and then put this over. Wow. Will this burn my table? I don't know. Do I really care though? No, because this table has been ruined already. She is used to pain. All right, that's done. We're done. And flatten it so it doesn't bend. While I'm waiting on that, let's do some of these. So this is my draft. I just wanted to see if I could even click the pieces together. So these antenna, I just had to sort of mush in there. You just kind of have to hope you don't break your things. And for these legs, I'm pretty sure, definitely not this way. Hope and pray it goes through like that. There, not so hard. This will also be easier if you didn't melt this. I might've gone a little bit overboard. This is flat now. It's a little pancakey. So that's why it's harder for it to even push through the hole. And I said it. Okay, yeah, this might be impossible. This might not work. This does not seem like it's possible to do. Let me try one less melted. I'm not even being gentle. I'm really trying, guys. Ow, my hands hurt. Jesus, okay. Oh my God, come on. You can do it. Kind of have to do it for the video. Okay, there. Honestly, do I care about getting these legs perfect? Not really. I don't think I'm gonna pay attention to the legs of all things. Yeah, this stuff is like indestructible. 
Okay, once you have the base done, it's best to do the sides. You just click into place and then right here. Yeah, this will be easier if you don't melt it too much. I am like forcing this to fit together. Then we get the butt. Oh, before I do the butt, let me do the stinger. Oh God, oh no, this one's not gonna fit. Jesus, I don't know if I can give this bee a stinger. I think this is too hard. You could just super glue something to it too. That is another option. That's the best I'm gonna be able to get it. This is way too melted for me to even push this through. And then click this into place right here. If you wanna secure it, you could use glue, but I'm not gonna do that yet. And then finally the face. Now for the antenna, you just have to be careful and slide it in between this little crevice and then hope to god everything stays together while you click it okay i'm not gonna put this on yet just because i need to put the light in between it not really sure how to get the light in there but we'll figure that out this is done though it's pretty cute look at it all right next up black bumblebee oh this bumblebee's gonna have brown legs by accident mm, that's my bad should have made black legs wasn't thinking about it oh not again please ah! <laughs> Nope, I need to drill a hole if I'm gonna get any chance of pushing this through. Is this as difficult as pregnancy? I don't know. I'll never know. I know, I don't even want this to have brown legs and I wanna give it black legs. So I will do that off screen. For now, you'll be legless. If anything, I should put the top on first and leave the front and back empty so that I can weave the string lights through. Yes, Frederick, yes. Use that, oh, use that in my new knowledge. I went to college to know this. Jesus. See what happens when you melt them too much? They're not, they're, oh, they won't stay put. Oh wait, how do I put the wings on? Oh no, I do need glue. <laughs> I didn't even think about the wings yet. Well, it's probably better I do this first then. When I put this through the string lights, then I'll put the wings on. With some encouragement, it went through. So this one is done. I don't know if you can tell. It's a little bit curved. I didn't flatten it. My bad. Okay, so to get the butt through, you have to sort of... <laughs> Do this. I'm not gonna explain too much of what I'm doing. Just gotta loosen it up a little bit and then it'll pop th there. See? Wow. <laughs> she just needs encouragement. And it works. It actually works. I'm not just doing this to tee hee everyone. Maybe that's why they gave us tweezers. <gasps> this is the real purpose. That's what NYU education taught me. How to widen a bee's butthole. The only problem is these things don't want to stick. This antenna, they won't stay put. I might super glue them because they're being annoying. Okay, this one's done. Grand finale. I think this one is my best one because I learned to not melt everything so much. And this antenna also looks different. I connected everything together because I was like, it keeps falling apart. See, that's so much easier. Oh, why didn't I think about this the first time? Stinger still needs some, some help. Just some assistance. Um, hello? What happened here? It appears as though I still messed up. I am missing two yellow pieces right here. It's okay. That's fixable. I just don't want to fix it. Then you can do this and this and this. Then you got yourself a bee. I'm gonna go ahead and get the string lights. I'll be right back. Except it's tangled, so someone has to untangle this first. All right, we're in the final stretch. So what I've concluded is I'm going to bunch up a bunch of these strings inside each bee to hopefully make it more bright. And then I'll hot glue the wings on the bee once I put it on. Oh no, everything's ruined. Oh, also my hot glue gun is yellow you appreciate that very on brand i'm just gonna create a little bunch right here i think that's enough lights and then i do this the gap's big enough to make the copper wire go through so i think we'll be okay and then close it once again pretty delicate might need to hot glue it together if i want it to be here forever but damn it be here forever but i think that's good so i'm just gonna skip ahead maybe like four lights and then do more and let's do the blushing one next i made another mistake here i just realized that's a lot of holes i don't know what happened this is why you should not do this unless you are focused and don't do this at 1 a.m i found the best place to make the light escape is through the antenna because there's also a gap because i did not do it right or through this gap as you can see if you want to make this more secure you can obviously super glue it inside but obviously i'm going to move these bees around because i'm indecisive and i'm definitely going to question this placement in five minutes okay angry bee oh hello that's not right this is not right at all why do you have a leg in your butt are you into that no 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 you need a stinger all right three done i just untangled this what the fuck happened how how is this physically possible imagine i do this and then the string lights don't work Haha, <laughs> ooh, I didn't test them out, so they better, or else I'm going to hit something. The butt is not cooperating, guys, I repeat. Let me first plug this glue gun in, actually. So much glue, okay, let's see what I can do with this. Oh, that's not what I want. Oh my god, it's already drying. Oh no, 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 this was not my vision. Oh no! <laughs> abort, abort mission, abort mission. Nope, restart, this never happened. Cut the cameras. I'm going to hot glue everything inside there, shut. Ow, my finger. 
Ow. And I'm going to keep pressing it. Hopefully it's melting the perler beads too. So when I do this, I need to put the string lights through, but there's some holes here because Frederick messed up last time and didn't put legs on it. So I'm just gonna have a legless bead. It's fine, I don't care. I just want this to work. Okay, let's do it. I think it worked. <gasps> okay, this is good. Wait, it's backwards, shit. These are backwards. Oh no, I can't undo that. Oh no, no, no. This one's hot glued. Can I take it back? I take it back, I take it back. I'm so sorry I ever hot glued you. I take it back. No! I even had a feeling that would happen. No, everything's breaking again. Okay, I got the B on, except I didn't get the antenna in. Please go in there and stay in there. Okay, everything is in. Now I need to put on the wings so it looks like this <gasps> it's so cute oh my god it was all worth it this is so cute seriously though this was pretty fun now i don't care about any of that i just want to know will it light up <gasps> Ooh, it worked you guys it worked wait let me turn the lights off oh my god God, this is gorgeous. Look at my bees. They're so cute. This is actually so cute. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'll give you guys a close up really quick. This is like the most difficult thing to hold. Wow, adorable, amazing, beautiful. I definitely want to add more to this. Obviously there's only a certain amount I made and I got a lot of string light left. So uh, I'm gonna do something. How about you guys comment along with the day one things, if you so please. Some recommendations of other stuff I should do to add on to my collection of 3D perler bead string, I don't know what to call this. Probably wanna do a glow squid, I feel like it makes sense. Maybe creeper head, maybe TNT. You guys know the colors, you saw them, I just don't have red. I'm going to set these aside because I'm about to break them. And that's the end of the video. So if you enjoyed, give it a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more videos whenever I have time to post. Turn on my notifications so you don't miss out on them. Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, second channel, gaming channel, podcast channel. And as always, I love you guys and everything is less than three. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> Spicy. Okay, that's enough shit posting. Banner of the week goes to Lost Coast Dolls. I'm sorry I forgot to say it in the video, but thank you so much for your submission. Go follow them on Instagram right here. Thank you for dealing with my uh my terrible anime memes. Bye.